Hello, it's uh, me, Chris Hughes, bloke with the camera, and today I am on Mamtor, a lovely, windy, uh, rainy Mamtor. It's it's beautiful. I've been here many times before. Um, it's a great spot, um, and I'm quite looking forward to the fact that the conditions are so changeable. Uh, you can you can't see this, but on one side of me now in the valley, I can see bright sunlight, and the other side there is literally. Uh, a big huge bank of rain just moving towards me so apologies if I run away quickly for some kind of shelter um, but I'm going to try and get some I'm going to try and get some nice dramatic landscape shots I've brought the the uh, the big tripod the big heavy tripod because as you can see this one's wobbling a little bit so we're going to try a little few setups we're going to take our time a little bit as much as I can before hypothermia sets in can you believe that it's August and uh, with the wind chill here and the rain it's still a bit nippy but uh, we'll see how we get on I'm also testing out my dead cat lavalier so we'll see if you can hear a single word that I'm saying um, but on the whole it's a bit of an adventure so let's see what happens So what we've got now is, um, I'm not actually using the tripod, which is ironic since I've lumped it all the way here. But um, the, the weather behind me is stunning. You can see there's light in the background over on the far hills. Tilt that a little bit. And we even had rainbows and things, so it's gorgeous. The wind is okay, a bit shielded from it here. I'm trying to get a nice curve with this path leading in, sort of leading line into the photo. Um, but I'm doing it handheld with a nice wide angle. I'd probably be a bit more selective now. Wide angle seems a bit lazy, just get everything in. Um, but so far, the conditions are beautiful. It's gorgeous, but it changes every two minutes. So I'm hoping the light will go on uh, Lowe's Hill, just about there. You see that hill that's just a bit in shadow. Um, I'll tilt that back up. See, it's just above my head. If the light goes on that, then I think we've got a stunning shot. So uh, we'll just hang around and wait and see what happens. Um, I'm also trying to avoid the, the tourists. I hope they thin out now as the weather starts to, as it gets later, you know, less people giggling and drinking cans of beer as they walk past me. It's always fun, but uh, it's not a huge issue, to be honest. It's just great to be out. And uh, as long as I don't get absolutely drenched, uh, I'm hoping we should get some stunning photos.
So as you can probably tell, I am back in the car. Um, up on the hills, great views, stunning conditions. And then you look back where the wind's coming from, and I just saw this car, this curtain of grey uh, rain just approaching towards me. And then you look and you think, is that just a shower? And then you look at it and you go, no, that's that's a big heavy rain cloud coming straight for me. And I haven't really brought, I have brought a bit of wet weather gear, but I didn't really feel like toughing it out, especially with all my camera gear, etc. So I thought, back to the car, we've done our bit, I think. So uh, hopefully I've got some nice shots. I was taking, I didn't use the tripod at all. At one point I got it out and then realised when I got the camera I didn't really need it because it's still quite bright. Um, I've been bracketing, which is something I don't normally do, which means setting the camera so it will take three shots at slightly different exposures to try and uh, see if I can A, get a really good exposure on one of them, but B, I might try and um, do a bit of sort of HDR stuff, you know, where you use one the exposure for the ground and one the exposure for the sky and another, and see if blending those gives me a really, does something, gives me a nice sh shot. I tend to avoid HDR at high dynamic range, photography in general because I think it can look a bit comic bookish a bit unreal uh, if it's pushed too far but this might just give me a slight edge to get me a, a nicer uh, exposure but you've got to be subtle with it is what I'm guessing I've not done it yet so you've probably seen the shots before I have um, but generally really nice little trip out it's half an hour from where I live here into the dark peak of the peak district um, and I quite like it when the weather's like this. I've said on previous videos that if it's really blue skies and they're really, it's great for a walk, but it's not that great for photography, you know, because it can be a bit boring. I like a bit of drama. Unfortunately, though, today it just got a bit too dramatic. Um, ironically, I was looking where the sun is going down, and in that direction I was expecting great things, and it wasn't. It was just sort of dark and grey and gloomy. It was in the opposite direction where the sun was coming at the side, the clouds and that sort of beautiful you get a bit of blue sky and a bit of sort of steel gray clouds just the contrast was was gorgeous uh, so hopefully it's been a bit rushed but hopefully i've got some nice shots we shall see until next time thank you